This is Twit. Mama, don't take that coat of chrome away. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. That lovely music means it's time once again for Chris Marquardt, our photo guy. Chris is a professional photographer. He works at a variety of media, including film and digital, and stops by every week to help us with our digital photography. He hosts the Great Tips from the Top Floor podcast at tfttf.com. He's based in Germany, but he does uh, he does podcasts in English as well as German. His English is so good, I bet you didn't even know he was based in Germany. And also leads uh, a bunch of wonderful workshops, and you can find those all at discoverthetopfloor.com. Can you hear me okay, Chris? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you. We had a little technical difficulties. I was stalling. You rebooted all, fixed, all your equipment. You. <laughs> and here he is. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Welcome to uh, the show. So I was mentioning that you are a master of multiple f photographic mediums. Of course, digital photography, film photography. You've got a book on film photography that's easily the best book out on film photography. Um, but there's a medium we haven't mentioned. Photography that doesn't have a lens at all. Exactly, and and it, what day better? What better day than World Pinhole Day to talk about this? <laughs> wait, so, wait a minute, it's, this is World Pinhole Day. <laughs> the last Sunday in April is World Pinhole Day. Yes, it is wow. every year, and wow. it's it's there to 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 kind of celebrate that very simple kind of photography. Uh, pinhole photography is is literally the simp the simplest way you can make pictures because you don't even need a lens, as you just said. You just need a light tight box. A small hole on one side, something light sensitive on the other side, like a digital sensor or a piece of film or a piece of photo paper, and you can make photos. So it's really simple. And you can pretty much take any light tight box that you have. I People think the first time I uh, experienced pinhole was uh, when I was a kid and we were going to watch a total eclipse of the sun. And w you could po poke a hole in a shoebox and point the hole at the sun and look at the back of the shoebox and see the eclipse happen. That's pretty much the sun projecting through that hole. Right, yes, you, right. You, can, you can see little suns if you're under a tree and the sun peeks through the little holes between <laughs> the leaves. You can see the sun on your hand multiple times because there are several holes. It's a miracle. People people make, make, make pinhole cameras from all sorts of things, like beer cans, for example. That's wow. a pretty uh, simple thing. You just cut it open, put a piece of film in there in the dark, poke a hole in the other side, close it up again, and you, you have a camera. And... It's really interesting because that hole gives you some special p properties um, to the photography. For example, everything in the photo is equally, well, equally sharp, but also equally unsharp. If you, um, pinhole has a little kind of a slight unsharpness to it, which gives it a bit of a dreamy look. And as opposed to your camera with a lens on it that has like a place where the focus is and then stuff behind the focus is out of focus and in the front is out of focus. That pinhole camera has everything in focus from just a, an inch in front of the camera to infinity. Oh, oh, everything is I know at the why. same sharpness. I know why. I know why? why. Because that's how depth of field works, right? Because when you have your, your, your camera lens open wide open with a, with a low aperture number, you know, that means the, then only a narrow sh focus. But if you put, go f22 where it's got the tiny, then it's like a pinhole. It's got the tiniest aperture. Spot Everything's on. focused. Now, now we're not talking about your average f8, f11, f16. That's what, what the kind of things that What's you might pinhole? be used to. What's a f100? A pinhole camera. F250, F300 what? maybe. Really? The really tiny holes, yeah. Wow. As, as we said, a pinhole. And that uh, that gives you that long uh, that, that long depth of field, but also, of course, gives you longer exposures because there's not much light coming in. So you will be shooting uh, typically from a tripod or wedging the camera on something. And then depending on maybe in the bright sunlight, you might be fine with like just a couple of seconds of exposure. But inside that can go into the minutes to hours. There are people who are doing what's called um, so solarography, which is like photography, but you're shooting the sun with a pinhole camera. And some of these um, solarography uh, experiments go six months or longer. So you have a, you have one of those beer can pinhole cameras. You poke a hole in one side. You just take some gaffer tape and tie, tie, uh, tie it up to something, and then, then come back six months later, and you will have these traces of the sun as they change over the months, and the sun goes higher and then it goes lower, and you can uh, kind of follow that. That's really interesting. That's another cool. one, another one is uh, is really interesting. Um, if you go to tfttf.com/slash 
Trash Cam, one word, Trash Cam. That's a project, I think it's from here from Germany, from Hamburg, where they took big, big trash bins and converted uh. them to pinhole cameras and then put them around Hamburg and let them uh. just sit there for a while and take photos with big, big trash, trash bins. Well, that's hysterical. That is hysterical. The world's biggest camera ever is a pinhole camera. And they built this in 2006 in Irvine, California, in an abandoned, well, not in an abandoned F-18 hangar, out of an abandoned F-18 hangar. Wow. The hangar itself wow. was the camera. So they, they, they pretty much covered up all the, the little things that light could come in. And then they, 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 they put this huge piece of cloth with a photosensitive emulsion on it up on one, one side of the wall. And then on the other side, they had a hole in the door that was doing the exposure. Now, that camera was obviously not very flexible. It could just take one kind of picture, but it is uh, literally the biggest camera in the world ever. And it's a pinhole wow. camera. So pin pinhole has so much to give you. And if you want to play with your kids, like a little craft project or something for a Sunday afternoon, making a pinhole camera is just, just perfect. A lot of fun. Yeah. And it's it pinhole day. So and it's World Pinhole Day right world now. World Pinhole Day. Actually, uh, it makes sense that it'd be now because you want bright sun, don't you? It doesn't work very well if it's uh, if it's dark. It, 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 it depends light, on how much time it? you have. <laughs> yeah, I guess it really so. depends yeah. on, on the amount yeah. of time you have. Sense. It could, could it be could could be just a few seconds in bright sunlight, but indoors with a pinhole camera, you will probably be in the minutes to right to uh, to an hour or longer. Now, Chris, let us uh, let us talk about our assignment because we are in week two. It means we have a few more weeks. It's not too late if you want to get involved here. It's a chance to uh, take a picture, submit it uh, to Flickr, and uh, get the uh, comments of our Tech Guy Flickr group, and then even get Chris's comments if you're selected as one of the top three. What is our subject for the day? Or the, the subject for for the current assignment is set S E T. No idea. Set. One, one of those words that has so many meanings that it's almost too hard again. It's, it's not easy because it's not like a very simple go-to solution. Let, let me take a photo of this. It's very... Do you do um, that? Do you, you have to be a bit creative. Do you look in the dictionary and look for words that have more than, you know, five or six definitions? Is that what you're doing? Last time and this time I did it, yeah. <laughs> Busted. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll do it. Maybe, maybe I'll do, do it once more after that. Okay. Okay. Very fun. <laughs> so we, that's the trick. Uh we don't know what set means to you. It, it, it does. You don't have to know what it means to Chris. Just think of something that could illustrate that. And really, it's an excuse just to go out today or in tomorrow and the next day and take your camera with you. If your camera's a camera phone, that's fine. It doesn't have to be a fancy camera. Take a picture that illustrates that idea, that concept. And then the trick is you got to submit it to our tech guy group on Flickr. Flickr.com is a free uh, site from uh, Yahoo. I think Yahoo's changed their name to Oath. But they, I don't know why. Well, Flickr, Flickr's still around. Flickr is not. So go to, oh, go to Flickr.com, and uh, if you're not a member, it's free to join. And if you are a member, go to the Tech Guy group. You'll know it's the right group because you get a picture of me, and there's like 10,000 members and 11,000 members. And uh, just say, add that to your list of groups that you're a member of, and then uh, submit as up to a picture a week. Do make sure you put the word set in the uh, tags, though, so we know that that's your submission. Renee Silverman, our moderator, will tag you. And uh, maybe in a couple of weeks, Chris will review the best pictures, and you'll get fame, glory, and absolutely no money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Catch his work at discoverthetopfloor.com. And he joins us every week to uh, talk digital photography. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. More of your calls coming up. 8888-ASK-LEO. We'll go back to the phones right after this.